Star say you crazy. YouTube, let's get 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 it. Back with another vid, YouTube. It's your boy Big Gap. And today we have the Armor Granite 3S VLX and we have the Traxxas Haas 4x4 VXL 3S. So we're out here in the backyard. We got the ramp set up. <clears throat> we're gonna get a couple of rip arounds, uh, tell the difference between the two. Um, and you know, at the end of the video, I may give my thoughts on what which one I think is best. Um, it really doesn't matter which one that I think best because whatever you think is the best is you know is, is how you feel but uh yeah man we're just gonna get a quick whip around first i think i'm gonna start off with the granite and then we're gonna work our way into the house uh i did want to get these two out to the dirt um where, where we do the, some of the neighborhood races at in the dirt but i'm just not able to get down there right now uh so i'm just gonna do the comparison in my backyard so hold tight fellas i'm gonna get the granite going in one second all right ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen we're back uh both both trucks are running uh 5000 uh milliamp 3s 100 c's so we're just gonna get out here and have a have a ball with them it's granite it's super duper fast off the rip it does threaten to roll over slightly whoa because of that that that, that narrow wheelbase uh, I, I need to turn these brakes down too these brakes are super high Speed and power of this thing is crazy. Whew. On your feet. Easy backflips. I could have backflipped that one. I wasn't even trying. I wasn't even trying to do a backflip, but I could have hit one on that one. Look at that. Perfectly. And that's the thing that kind of scares me about the Haas is the fact that, first of all, I don't have the upgraded jaw shafts. <laughs> and secondly, I don't know if it's gonna have the power with those wheels. I know if I put some balloony, some more, some wheels that balloon more on it, I know it'll hit back this because my rustler was the same way, but that granite is just easy, easy peasy. Like I said, this one does threaten to roll over. From from my few times driving, it kind of threatens to roll over, maybe just a little bit more than the house. <laughs> so we'll just do some general drive. Oh, whoa. General driving around, having fun with it. Then we'll we'll go back in the house and have a sit down, and talk about the two. I do think that these tires are pretty good, but I think that this granite could use better tires. On my old granite, I had the uh, MX 2.8s on there, and they were awesome. They perform better than the, these tires, actually. But uh, these are not, not not that bad. I have a set of these on my big rock as, re as well. And they do pretty good, but could be a little better. <coughs> but they definitely helped this car perform pretty well. Uh, we're not at the loose dirt, but I, I can still talk about it because I've drove them on, on the loose dirt before. Uh, on the loose dirt, these tires, on the real loose, hard stuff, compact stuff, they don't do that well. Uh, they kind of struggle. Uh, they struggle slightly because of because of the torque and the power, and the, and the, the fact that the truck don't have AVC. It um, kind of makes it a little tough to uh, keep it straight on the real loose stuff. But on the grass, it's it's, it's, it's lights out on the grass. Thing is, is uh, one thing about this truck though, I will say, speed-wise, this truck, it, this truck can fly. It's hard to get it up to top speed because it willies, but this truck can fly. Definitely a 49, 50 miles per hour truck, most definitely. So he gets crazy in the back sometimes. Oh, hard to keep him straight. Look at that, there's no turning right there. That's all throttle. Uh. Should we get him? Got him, let's go. Self right by yourself. <laughs> That's not good for your, uh, for your gears, fellas, but 
I didn't want to walk over that one to keep the video going. This thing is ripping though, man. This thing is definitely ripping. And looking good doing it. We'll get a big send it. And we're going to swap it over. Oh, I wasn't going to go be straight that time. I got to get myself straight. I could have hit a double. I could have doubled that. <laughs> oh, got it. Good job. I've yet to break anything on this granite or my last granite. They all, they both ran smooth, so uh, everything was good. I didn't have shock issues like a lot of people and or drive shaft issues. So that's the run of the granite. 4x4 3S BLX. Now we're gonna break out the Traxxas Haas. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we back. We got the Haas. See what the Haas can do. Ooh. Both of them really fairly easy, about the same. The rollover, the thread and the rollover is probably close to the same as well. Haas may do a little bit better though. May do a little bit better on the thread and the rollover, but it doesn't put the power down as fast as the granite does. You have to really get on the throttle to put the power down. But then you also has the as the uh, you know a plus for this one is it comes with the TSM on it, and um, TSM really 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 helps at times. TSM really 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 helps the car perform better with the TSM on there. A lot of us don't need it. A lot of veterans, they don't, they don't, they don't really run it as much. But the cars do perform better with the TSM, especially in the loose stuff, the loose dirt. But like I said, as I can see, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have that power and speed delivery as the, uh, as the granite. But as I'm, as I'm driving now, like I said, I, it feel like it doesn't roll over as much as the granite. It doesn't threaten to roll over as much. To be my first jump ever with it. Question is, is it gonna be able to hit that backflip? Ooh, barely, 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 barely. Ooh, we. I'm gonna have to get some, get some. Got it. I'm gonna have to get some air to hit that backflip. And it's crazy. I'm running the same exact batteries. I'm running a uh, 3S 100, 100C uh, smart batteries. Ooh, hard hit. Ooh, I think my whole battery came disconnected that time. Yeah, see, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have, it just doesn't have the lift to be able to get you that backflip easy. Um, and that's that's how it was with my with my granite as well. I mean, with my um, with my rustler as well. So this is probably, but if you put the tires that balloon much more on here, then that's not a, that's not an issue. It'll it'll backflip easy. So with my granite, I swapped to these tires, but I, I mean not my granite, my rustler. I swapped to these tires, but I may be swapping back. All right, hold tight, fellas. Let me get this battery back plugged in here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we back. Yeah, as you can see, it just doesn't have those tires. Just don't balloon enough, and the, the system itself by itself just does not have enough torque. It has enough torque to correct, correct itself, but it just doesn't seem to have enough torque to get that backflip. So let me try to get a little, let me try to get a nice little run up and get some nice height so we can see if it'll make that backflip. Let's see. Still wasn't gonna make it. it wasn't gonna make it that time either. <laughs> and that's way more, I'm jumping way higher than what I would have, than what I did with the granite. But durability, that's definitely a durability test. It's, held, it's hanging up pretty good. That was, some, that was some really bad hits. But I'm not gonna keep pushing it, fellas. Uh, I like this truck. Uh, I, like, I like it for what it is. It doesn't have to, you know, really hit a lot of backflips because I won't really be jumping it too much anyway. Nice. It does jump nice and flat. 
but it's crazy because I know I can go right in the house and change those tires to those Proline tires and this thing will be a backflip monster. And that's what I may have to do because I would rather this be my backflip truck than the Rustler. Even though the Rustler has the upgraded dry shafts, this is more of a monster truck. This is more of a stunt type truck than a, you know, a racer or anything like that. So I may just have these tires for backup for my Rustler and put the uh, Pro Lines on here. Then we'll revisit this. I'll get back out here sooner or later with my new ramp and do some backflips with the, with the new tires on there. But this thing is ripping though. But I don't, you know, I'm giving my honest opinion, man. I'm not be trying to be biased towards any brand. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. And I, as I'm seeing with this car driving, it do, it doesn't threaten to roll over as much as the uh, Granite does. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more stable in the turns than the Granite is. Woo! And one thing I do like about the tracks and stuff is they, the cars sound smooth. They're not loud. I don't know, maybe because they, they use so much plastic, but uh, they're pretty smooth. It don't sound real aggressive, but it it is pretty aggressive. Ooh, handle it. Those sludge hammers hook up pretty well though. They hook up pretty well. And I know people are gonna say, oh, your ramp didn't have enough arc. But I mean, it didn't have, it's the same ramp in the granite flip easily. But I do think as far as grip wise, these sludge hammers are a little bit better when it comes to the grip than the, uh, the arm. I think they're called a fortress or something like that from arm, arm tires. All right, fellas. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we back. We're gonna see which one rides the Willie the best up the street. Get a couple of speed passes, just you know, just just showing the differences in speed. Uh, I don't have a speed of my my speedometer on any one of them, but I just wanted to you know let you see how fast they are. But we're gonna get these Willies going up the street. See which one Willie's the smoothest up the street and can ride that Willie easy. Ooh, you gotta look crazy on me. There we go, get it up. Oh, nice little Willie that time. <laughs> this thing Willies, it reminds you of the Max and the X Max, the way the way that it Willies. I'm right, gonna get a couple of speed passes passed through here. I'm pulling a little bit. Nice and stable. Nice and stable. You probably hit about 45, 46 right there. Full speed, maxed out. Full speed. Pretty tough. I know it's gonna be pretty tough to ride along with it with with either one of these cars up on, on the street. The wheelies do better in the grass a little bit. Alrighty, on to the granite. As you can tell just right off the rip how much more aggressive the granite is. Granite is much more aggressive. <laughs> it's hard, but it's so aggressive, man. Like the Hoss gonna win the uh, wheelie riding contest. This willy bar is pretty low too. There we go. Ooh, <laughs> that was kind of far away, but he rode it pretty good. <laughs> uh. There you go. 
Oh, the granny might got it on the wheelie too. <laughs> get a couple of flybys. We'll get out of here. But you, you just be able to tell the difference in speed when it's coming down. I don't even got to go that far. Look at that. Big difference in speed. It's about two couple of miles per hour difference. There it go rolling though. And the uh, Haas didn't threaten to do that that much. Yeah. Big difference in speed, y'all. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys, we're gonna finish the video in the house talking about it we're gonna summarize it up and then we're gonna end the video i'll tell you what i think all right ladies and gentlemen we are back we're back on the inside we're going to talk about the trucks a little bit talk about some of the differences and at the end of the day we're going to talk about which one is just more bang for your buck um first of all i have no you know it's no brand loyalty like that like i have to say one is better than the, than the than the next i have i me personally i just like to be honest with my subs and honest with people who watch my videos so they can get an honest opinion of what needs to you know what trucks for the price and all that kind of stuff to go after i have multiple tracks all the top dogs and tracks i have in my collection all the top dogs from Arma, I have in my collection. You name them, I have them in it. So it's not, you know, I don't, I don't want people to think that I'm being biased. Uh, I did a few other videos, and people thought that I was was being biased towards certain brands, but I'm not. I just speak the truth on what I feel. Um, that doesn't, like I said earlier in the video, it doesn't mean that it's going to be the best thing for you because people have different experiences with different things. But me. Personally, like I said, I just like to be honest. So let's get into it. With that being said, both are awesome vehicles. They are awesome, awesome vehicles. The Traxxas Haas is about 480 bucks. Taxes are different in, in, in all different states. So we're not, I'm just gonna say 480 bucks for the Traxxas Haas. And this one is 320 bucks. So you got 320 plus 400 uh, against 480. First things first, speed. We're gonna talk about speed. Speed wise, the arm of granite gets the knot in the speed. Um, it picks up a little bit faster. Um, it has, um, it's, it's a little bit more torquey than the Haas. Um, it's, it's just a faster truck. I would have to say the Armour Granite is the faster truck. All right, next we say the handling, how we drive. The Armour Granite does threaten to roll over a good little bit. Um, it, if you get on, if you hunker down on that throttle a little too hard and you go into them turns, is you're gonna find yourself a lot of times on two wheels and you gotta catch it to get it back down. The Haas, it rolls over, but not as much as the Granite does. So as far as with the handling and the way it turns, I will have to give the nod to the Traxxas Haas. Traxxas Haas gets that. Next up, tires. I'm not a big fan of either or. Well, I am. A, I do like the tires, but I think that both both of them could be a little bit better um, in their own ways. With the Haas. I would have to say the grip is great with the Haas. The grip is awesome. Um, I really like the Sledgehammer tires when it comes to the gripping, but they lack when it comes to this being a stunt truck and with the backflips. You have to get a tremendous amount of air to be able to pull off a clean backflip on a ramp. Now, I'm not saying hitting a wall or hitting a fence and just throttling and just hitting the backflip. I mean, on a regular size jump, a normal jump, to be able to hit a backflip. That's that's where these wheels struggle slightly. Um, as you saw in the video earlier, I was trying my best to pull a backflip off, and I, I had pretty good air. I'm, I'm talking five, six feet high, 
and I just couldn't pull off the backflip. Uh, the tires just wouldn't give. Now the correction, it does correct. It corrects. If the nose is down and you throttle, it'll correct the truck. If the nose is up and you brake, it'll definitely correct the truck. But they lack when it comes to the backflips. And being that this is a stunt truck, I mean, you know, it's not really a racer, so you're gonna use this as a basher, a jumper, and that kind of stuff. It kind of leaves you wanting a little bit more. But I know with the, if you put the, the Proline MX 2.8s on here, it'll be a backflip monster because I went through the same thing with my Traxxas Rustler uh, and my E-Revo. I went through the same as that thing with the stock tires. All right, next, moving on to the tires that's on the Granite. These tires, you can backflip like crazy with these tires. Um, this is a 12 millimeter hex, this is a 14 millimeter hex, so you can't interchange the tires, you would have to swap out the hexes. But these are backflip monsters. But I will say, off-road, they, they do not handle anywhere as good as the sludge hammers. Um, which this is not really, this truck is not really meant for super handling anyway. This is a smaller version of a stunt truck. It is the smaller version of an outcast, if you ask me. So it's a short chassis, um, you know, and it, I think that it, this is this truck is meant to bash around, hit backflips and have a good time. It's not really meant for you to go out and try to race and this and that with these two particular formats of vehicles. So with that being said, like I said, these uh, tires for, for the Armor Granite stock tires, they backflip excellent, but they don't give as much traction off-road. All right. Also, the plus that the Haas has over the Granite right out of the box is that the Haas has what Trax is called TSM, um, Stability, Trax is Stability Management or something like that. And you can turn the TSM up and it really helps the handling um, and the corrections when, you, when you're on the throttle hard. So that is a big plus for the Traxxas, um, the hops with the TSM. All right, moving on. Getting to the insides. We won't, we're not gonna go over a lot of the inside. This is gonna be a long video, so y'all might as well buckle up. <laughs> Grab you some popcorn or something. All right, so. Going with the insides of the trucks, telling about the pros and cons of the inside of the trucks. Um, this, this clip, this body, this um, battery mount stuff, I don't like this. I don't like the fact that it's, you have, I mean, it's just not good. Um, if you wanna run the smaller packs, that's cool. If you wanna run the decent middle size packs, that's cool. But if you wanna run a big 3S with a lot of milliamps, it's not gonna fit. It's just not going to fit. And there's things that you can buy to make them fit, but that's just more money that you're spending on an already $480 truck. Coming over to the battery tray, the battery uh, straps on the Granite, it's just Velcro straps. So you can really go up on battery size. You can put a battery in there, a huge battery, and if the straps are not long enough, just put, put new straps through it and you're fine. So I definitely like that design on that battery strap a little bit better on the battery trays. Uh, motor and ESC wise, um, both motors are good motors. Uh, I, I, this is a 2400 KV motor, the same one that's in the Mac. So I know this, this motor is a monster. This is the BLX motor that they, I mean the, the Firma, the Firma uh, smart motor that they've been rocking out with, you know, it, it, and it does awesome. Both ESCs, no problem. Uh, steering servos, a lot of people don't like the Traxxas steering servos, but I've only had a problem with one of my Traxxas uh, servos, and that was in my E-Revo 2.0 when they very first came out. But, so, as far as steering servos, they both do do basically what they're supposed to do. When you're looking at shocks, this is where the things start, you know, some of the things start changing. When you look at the shocks on this, this Haas, which is a $480 truck, you would think that these would be um, uh, threaded body aluminum shocks, or you know, something that you can, you know, that you can, that you can adjust by just turning a knob or whatever, but not, not so. And they're pretty, pretty skinny. They're pretty small shocks compared to the shocks on the granite. They're nice and big and beefy. I know um, the first versions, a lot of people, well, the second versions, the, the one that came in the orange, the one right before this version, 
uh, a lot of people was having problems with the shocks leaking. Um, I didn't have that problem on my Granite, but I did have it on um, a few of my other uh, Armour 3S vehicles where the shocks were leaking. But these shocks are much better on, on, on here. They're, 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 they're bigger bore, and they just they just offer a little bit more cushioning than on the Haas. Um, <clears throat> going to the bodies. The clipless body for the Haas, <coughs> excuse me, y'all. The clipless body for the Haas is awesome. I love the fact that you can just put it down in here like this, you push it forward, and then you push down on it, and it's in, you lock it down. I do like the fact that sometimes when you wreck, the body pops off. A lot of people don't like that, <coughs> but I think that is a plus because if the body pops off, it's not gonna take as much damage as it would on. And when you look at this body, I've only ran my granite about three or four times, um, and I've ran a Haas maybe three times, and this and they, I've, I've bashed them and flipped them and failed, and, and you know, about the same amount of times. And this body is still in pretty good shape, where this body is eating away just by a few of the, of the falls because the uh, few of the rollovers because the body doesn't go anywhere. It's on these. If it doesn't rip through the rip through the mounts right here, is is on there. So I do like the fact that that that, that clipless body is is much better on this Haas than on the Granite. But I do also like the armor with the tethers right here. This, that's awesome, so you won't have to lose body clips. That's that's a pretty good feature. I think all companies, if you don't do clipless, if you don't do clipless like Traxxas, you gotta have this. This is, this is a must right here, <laughs> the, the tethers. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, I struggle with back flipping the Haas. If you watch the video, I was trying my best. I was pinning it, and it just would not backflip. I just was not getting enough air to actually backflip. The granite, it only need about two feet off the ground, and it's going to backflip. It's just going to backflip. It's a backflip monster. Um, yeah. But, okay, now we talk about value for you know, your money for what you buy. They both come with plastic drive shafts. Uh, I've only, out of all my 3S cars, I've only broken one drive shaft, one plastic drive shaft, and that was on my Sensen 3S, the V2 Sensen 3S. I broke one drive shaft. Uh, on the Traxxas, I haven't broken one on the Haas. I've only dri driven it three times. But on my Rustler, I was breaking drive shafts left and right. These plastic drive shafts, I was breaking them left and right. So when I got my new Rustler, I, I just... <clears throat> Before I even drove it, I just put the upgraded aluminum dry shafts on there. Um, so when you're talking about budget, you're thinking about what are you getting for your money? Um, like I said, this is a $480 rig. That is pretty expensive for what you get out of the box. When you can get this rig and it's only $320 and it's it's the only the only difference is is the sludge hammer tires and the handling basically uh i mean the turning and you know the rollovers or whatever you want to call it so for folk this is a very expensive truck for what you're getting it is a nice truck i do not don't quote me don't i don't want nobody to feel like i'm bashing this vehicle because this i really like this vehicle i wouldn't have bought it if i didn't like this vehicle 320 bucks, the best 320 bucks you can spend when it comes to an RC car. Hands down, the best 320 bucks that you can spend. It's just what it is. Um, the durability is, I would, I would say it's, it's a little bit more durable than the Haas. Um, it's faster, it wheelies better, it backflips better. It's, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I think the Haas, I think the Haas would have been a better competitor at 350 or maybe even 399 but at 480 which is basically $500, is a little on the steep side. Um, yeah, man, so, I mean, that, 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 that sums it up. I would say if you are just getting into the hobby and you're looking to get a, a rig and, you know, you know that you're a very aggressive person. If you, uh, if you drive your regular car aggressive, you're gonna drive these uh, these RC cars even more aggressively because you know it's it's it's, it's less to worry about. 
Um, so I would say if you know you have a decent budget and you and you're looking for um, a car, I would say depending on your hobby shop, go with the Haas because of the part support for Traxxas. It's just easy to find parts. There's so many other manufacturers that make parts for the Traxxas Haas. But if you're a person that doesn't have that much of a budget, but you need something that's going to be durable because you're not going to have the money to be keep replacing parts and you, you don't have the know-how to do it, I would say go with the Alma um, Granite 3S. If you are already a hobbyist, you already been in a hobby, you 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 know what I'm saying, you're looking for another small 10 scale rig to get and you just want to bash it and have a good time with it, um, you know how to fix on them, you you know, you you're familiar with the order process and the the part the parts, the names of different parts, I would say definitely hands down you go with the granite uh 3S BLX. Um it's no way possible that this car is what is that, a hundred and a hundred and eighty and twenty, a hundred and sixty dollars. It's it's worth more. It's a hundred and sixty dollars more worth than this truck. It's no way possible. No, in no form, shape, or fashion. It's just not. Uh, other than the part support, the clipless body. It's a few. It's a few little things on here that that makes this a really good read. Um, but hands down, the granite better. But. Like I said, if I had to pick between these two and I only could have one and the one and I I, I had to pick the one that I think is better, I would have to say the arm of granite gets the win. Like I said though, but don't let that deter you from having your own experience because your experience may not be my experience. My experience is not gonna be Joe Blow's experience and Joe Blow's experience is not gonna be Samuel's experience. So it's just what it is. Um, they're both good cars. I, I don't regret my purchase on either one. A lot of people say, oh, do you regret buying it? No, I don't regret buying RC cars because I buy what I like. You know what I'm saying? I, I try the things that I want to try. I've had, I've had, I have had bad experiences with certain RC cars, but I like all brands of cars. I like, I like them all. You name the brand, I like it. Um, even some of the bang good stuff and stuff like that, I, I like some of that stuff. The ZD Racing stuff, I don't own one. But I do like them. Um, so, with that being said, man, I'm going to grant it for the win. I ain't going to hold y'all much longer. The Haas is still a great vehicle. Um, just a little bit pricey for what you get. Um, but there it is, man. I appreciate y'all sticking around watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever you like. You do. And I'm in it.